In the previous lesson, we have learned how to add Google Sign-in to Android app using Firebase. Today, we're going to learn how to use Google Sign-in in iOS app using Firebase. So first, let's type React Native Firebase. Let's go and select Social Auth. And let's go down for Google Sign-in. In the previous video, we have we have installed our that package and we have done that step and that step and that step but we need to add the configuration of our ios guide so let's press on that link and let's go down and press on ios guide let's go down first we need to install our bots so let's copy that code bot install and inside our term terminal let's open our ios folder and paste that code to install our bots. The second step is downloading the Google service info list and replace it with the older one. So let's open React. Let's open Firebase. Let's go to console and select our project. Let's go to settings. Let's re-download our Google service file. So let's go and select the iOS project and download Google service info. Let's open our downloads and let's replace it with that file inside the iOS folder. Let's drag and drop that and replace it with the older one. Okay. And let's go to our third step. The last step is the Xcode configuration. We need to add that reserved client ID inside URL schema types. How to do this? First, let's open our Xcode. Let's type that code exceed p iOS. That command allow us to open our Xcode from a React Native project. Let's press enter and see. Look, we have here our Xcode open at our project. So now, let's copy the reserved client ID in from Google service file. So let's copy that and open our Google service and search with that key. Now that's our key. Let's copy it. What to do with it? We just need to add it to our URL schema. So inside our Xcode, let's select our target here, press here and press on info. And let's go down to URL types. Let's press on that plus icon and add our URL schema. Okay. Woo, we've done with the iOS integration. So let's rerun our project. Let's press here to rerun to run the project. Let's press on login with Google. Oops, we we have here an error. What's wrong with it? We just need to close our terminal and open it again. So let's close our Metro Bundler and Yarn Start. And let's rerun our app. Now we will press login with Google. We have here our app wants to use google.com to sign in. Let's press continue. Select your email or use another account. I'm going to use an email. Great, success login. But it doesn't make sense to make success login. We want first to make that icon instead of, that, of this ugly button. And when we press here and success login, we navigate to home screen. So let's make that real quick. First, let's use that icon instead of that button. Okay. Let's go to login screen. Let's close those and go to login screen. Inside our social media component, we have here that Google icon. We want to make it pressable. So, so let's open 
that component, social media. Social, let's open that component. We can go to a definition here to open it. And let's wrap the Google image with touchable opacity. On press, on Google, press. Let's copy that property and add it here. To pass it as a props, we have here a, a TypeScript issue, so let's add that code. Don't worry if you don't understand that code because it's a TypeScript issue. Now let's try it. It now it's touchable. Okay, let's go to login screen and add that property on Google Press. And let's pick that function on Google Pattern Press and paste it here. And let's remove that ugly button. Now let's try to log in with Google. Let's try to press at that icon here and press continue. Let's open our terminal to see what's here. Let's clear our terminal. Let's select. Now we have success login and we have here our data, our email, family name, given name and ID and so. So let's press OK. But it doesn't make any sense. I want when I press here and the login success, I want to navigate to home screen. So let's make that. Inside this function on Google button press, it's up here. Just let's copy that code and paste it here. Navigation dot navigate to home screen and paste it here under that alert success login and let's comment that alert. So now let's try to log in with Google. Let's press here, press continue, select our account or use another account if you want. Great, now we have success login and we are in our login screen. If you face any errors, please check our our previous video how to connect ios app with firebase because it's an important video and if you have any other issues please leave it in a comment in the description and i will reply to you and help you if you find this tutorial is good please support it with a like button and share it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thanks for your watching